How to replace the teeth on your Denny Simoff mulching head. Regularly replacing the teeth on your Denny Simoff head gives it the ability to perform at its best, ensuring your machine is operating at maximum productivity. The tools you'll need to complete this task include a 30 millimeter socket with a three quarter inch drive that was provided in your Denny Simoff startup kit, a three quarter inch drive torque wrench, a three quarter inch breaker bar or three quarter inch drive ratchet, replacement Nord lock washers, a metal hammer, and a light colored paint marker or black marker. Before you begin, make sure you're wearing the proper personal protective equipment required to complete this task. This includes safety glasses, a hard hat, steel-toed work boots, and leather work gloves. Warning! Care should be taken to ensure that the machine is turned off and the rotor has come to a complete stop before performing any maintenance or inspection. Always perform the lockout tag out procedure before working on the equipment. Serious injury or death can occur if the engine is accidentally started. To begin, first make sure the head is at a comfortable working height. Using the 30 mm socket and breaker bar, remove the nut on the tooth. When loosening the tooth, be sure to turn the socket counterclockwise. Remember, it's normal to have to use more torque when loosening the bolts versus tightening the bolts. You will hear a pop when the lock washers are released. Next, unthread the nut completely from the bolt. Once the nut is off, remove the washer and pull the bolt through. At this point, all attaching hardware has been removed and the tooth can now be removed from the tooth holder. Protec tip. A hammer and a punch or brass drift can come in handy in helping to remove a tooth when it is stuck on the tooth holder. Next, inspect and clean the tooth holder and tenon slot for any unusual wear or other issues. The tenon slot on the holder and the top of the holder should be clean and in good condition. Once the tooth holders are inspected and clean, assembling of the new tooth can begin. Place the new tooth into the tooth holder. Put the bolt through the hole. The head of the bolt should fit perfectly into the hexagonal slot on the front of the tooth. Now, place the Nordlock washers and nut into the slot behind the tooth holder. Make sure the lock washer is properly inserted and begin tightening the nut, turning in a clockwise direction. The nut should be torqued down to 400 foot-pounds for proper operation and safety. Protect Tips Using a light-colored marker, draw a line down the bolt and nut to the tooth holder to be able to see if the tooth has come loose after operation. Inspect your hardware every two to three uses and replace damaged hardware that is beyond further use. If you do reuse your hardware, be sure to check the condition of each component, making sure they're not out of alignment. When reusing bolts, be sure you reinstall them with the same nut and in the same direction. Always replace teeth in pairs, 180 degrees apart to keep the rotor balanced. Complete this process on all teeth on the rotor and your Denny Simoff head is ready to get back to clearing the way.